Tonight on Documentify TV. High in the Pyrenees Mountains of northeastern Spain, there is a burial cave known as Roc de les Oranet. For thousands of years, it was a final resting place for the people who lived in these rugged, high-altitude communities. During recent excavations, archaeologists uncovered more than a thousand human bones, each a silent piece of a much larger puzzle. But one piece stood out, a single fragment of a human rib. At first, it looked ordinary, but a closer look revealed something extraordinary. Lodged deep inside the bone was a flint arrowhead. This wasn't just the evidence of a brutal prehistoric attack. It was the key to a 4,000-year-old story of survival against all odds. The position of the arrowhead tells part of the story. Forensic analysis shows the projectile entered from the person's back, traveling forward until it struck the rib with incredible force. This suggests a surprise attack or an ambush during a conflict. But how can scientists be so sure this wasn't the immediate cause of death? The answer lies in the bone itself. Using advanced imaging like X-ray microtomography, researchers were able to look deep inside the wound without damaging the artifact. What they saw was unmistakable. The bone tissue had begun to heal. When a bone breaks, the body creates what is called a callus, a bridge of new bone that grows over the fracture. The analysis showed this healing process had already started. Regenerating tissue was growing around the edges of the wound, attempting to fuse with the foreign object. This biological process takes weeks, if not months. It is the silent, microscopic proof that this person survived the initial attack. They lived on, carrying this flint arrowhead inside their body for a significant time. And this individual wasn't alone in their suffering. The Rock de les Oranets cave is a window into a violent time. Among the remains of more than 50 people buried there, archaeologists have found evidence of other brutal fights. They've identified wounds on upper limbs and ribs, and in one shocking case, a forearm that had been completely amputated. This was not a peaceful existence. Living over 1,800 meters or 6,000 feet above sea level, these communities faced incredible challenges. The evidence suggests that even in these remote, high altitude communities, small scale conflict was a recurring part of life. So, what happened to this person? Was it a rival tribe fighting over scarce territory or resources? A hunting party that turned on one of its own? Or was it a more personal story of betrayal? We will likely never know the exact motive, but the bone tells the story of the event itself. This single damaged bone shows us the incredible resilience of ancient people. To survive such a severe injury, thousands of years before modern medicine, shows a level of human toughness that is hard to imagine today. This artifact is more than just an archaeological find. It's a 4,000-year-old record of violence, pain, and endurance. It's a direct connection to a single human life from the distant past, a person who was attacked, who suffered, but who ultimately survived. It makes you wonder what other stories of conflict and strength remain hidden in the ground, waiting for the day they can finally be told. If you enjoyed tonight's video, consider subscribing to our channel. It is totally free and it helps us immensely. We publish our videos every Thursday and Sunday. That's it for tonight's video, folks. See you next time right here on Documentify TV.